Hi everyone, it's a beautiful day on our piece of land out here in uh, Austria and we thought we'd come out and um, rake up some of the leaves from the pond and just generally mess about and do some bushcrafting or uh, testing out of our cookers. Um, before I get started I'm going to show you the contents of the bag that I use um, just to carry all my camping kind of cooking gear um, and I do want to point out this is not a pack or a setup that I would use to go hiking. Um, this is purely to keep everything together when I come out to our little piece of land. But I thought you might be interested to see. Um, this is a uh, British Army, or British Military, sorry, uh, NBC, or Nuclear, Biological and Chemical um, Haversack. It would have held the respirator, the gas mask that uh, military use. And I'm actually very familiar with this pack because um, I served for 12 years in the Royal Air Force. And one of my secondary duties in the event of uh, any kind of hideous disaster was that I was on a nuclear decontamination team. So I'm pretty familiar with this pack. And when I saw it in um, an Army Navy shop um, here in, in Vienna, I had to snap it up. And it makes the most fantastic holder for all my cooking gear. So I thought you might like to see the contents of it and some of the things I'll be testing today. So you can see it's really, really super tough. Um, there's a sort of uh, really good pocket on the side, straps on the back, you could hang it on a belt. Let's have a quick look. They're very, very strong, waterproof, very tough and durable. Um, just a little side pocket here. Sorry, I'm doing one of those hand one-handed videos today, which I don't normally like. Uh, clipper lighter, it's always good to have a spare. Um, what else is in here? Uh, we've got some more SBIT tablets. Um, this is one of the charcoals that you use um, in a warming um, pouch. Those things that you put in your pocket to keep your hands warm in winter. Uh, spare pencil because there's a notebook in here. Uh, you can see there. And I think, oh yeah. And I know it sounds nutty, but um, this is one of the cereal bags that you get inside a packet of cereals. And they're really strong and tough. And when I feel finished with the cereal, I thought, you know, I'm going to keep that. Because sometimes if you want... A clean bag, tough bag to put some uh, food in, food grade stuff. You could use a nice clean pouch or bag there. So that's just all in the side pocket there. Oops, what else is in there? I feel something. Ah, oh, random wing nuts. Probably for my cooker setup over there. So bizarre. Didn't even realise they were in there. So uh, open this up here. Very strong velcro on the top. On the top, you can see I have. Um, one of these Sports Direct emergency light things, it's really cool. It's got a torch, it's got a red strobe light um, and a red light that you can use for uh, nighttime viewing if you want. Um, spare carabiner, you can never have enough carabiners. Every time you have a, a meal and you get these freebie hand sanitising or hand wipes, always good to have those. Um, one of these emergency or wintry hand warmer pouches you just activate those and keep your hands warm you never know when you're going to need something like that so that just fits neatly in the top of that pouch there um let me open up in here see what we got typical sort of mess tin with the usual sorts of condiments and tea bags hot chocolate drinks and things like that general stuff for cooking tea honey sticks for honey and tea um what have we got in here I can't remember what's in here. Shall I open it up? Let's have a look. If I can pop it open with one hand. Oops. Let's try that. Ah, uh, salt and pepper. Yeah, little salt and pepper sachets. Um, some spices and usual sort of condiment things. Yeah, quite neat to keep that all in there, tidy. When you want to make a nice hot drink. Gosh, this video is terrible. Um, in here, I've invested in another extra... Uh, carry more windshields. I only used to have one, but actually it's quite useful to have two of them because you can fit uh, especially around the uh, propane stove that I have now um, for sort of bigger cooking projects. So two of these, they only cost about seven euros here in uh, Sports Direct. Pretty cheap, but quite effective and quite lightweight. So that's two windshields you can see there. Uh, straight down the middle you can see I've got my camping gas. Very, very handy camp cooker here. Um, I actually have two others, Micro Plus I think it's called, and another one which packs up a lot smaller. Um, but this has always been a fail-safe emergency 
well it's not emergency but useful for cooking up a big kettle of water and stuff there's still gas in that one so I'm trying to use that one up slowly so I can take the gas canister out but that fits perfectly inside there um, at the bottom I've always got lots of these hooks um, because I've got my if any of you saw the video of my camping chair um, cooker thing I've kind of got it set up here at the moment a few bits and pieces I'm gonna have some soup later you can use some alcohol here and some Bren pasta it's called or alcohol gel to cook on later to test some of the two burners that I've got so I have the hooks because I can just hang things and bits and pieces from it there. Um, so what else is in here? Oh, my new alcohol burner that I'm going to be testing later. And you can see that fits nicely in with my S-bit set up there. I'm going to be testing that later on in a different video. Um, oh yeah, these, I think you're all familiar with these clamps. Brilliant for taking lids off things when you're cooking. That goes with my mess tin down there. Um, I've got this little spirit level because when I use the propane cooker I want to make sure that I can get the level uh, of the cooker nice and uh, steady so that when I'm cooking on it and it's very cheap this cost me 2 99 from sconce um, a little magnet on the bottom which just sticks on which is not really necessary but very helpful yep so that's always quite handy to make sure everything's level um, right in the very bottom you can see there all manner of bits and pieces jet lighter you can never have enough of those they're quite handy very strong burner. I hope it's got yeah, that's burning nicely. And in the bottom, I've got a couple of packs of batteries um, because I've got a headlamp with me. Uh, I've just took the head torch out actually, it fits in here as well. Uh, rechargeable batteries for the head torch. Be prepared. I've even got spare batteries. Oh, I've got a jet boil. Uh, these are brilliant to crunch it. Um, these are for releasing all the extra gas, any leftover gas in one of these. Um, types of cans for gas gas stoves and then you can just throw them away and recycle the tins as normal so they're not dangerous or anything fantastic tool that's the jet boil um, oh, I've got this cool little cup down here I'm sure many of you have got these this is kind of handy dandy little fold out cup store some matches in it spare batteries again and I think another pack of batteries fell out there somewhere oh, I'll find it in a second um, Oh, I've got a little sachet that I've made here of, uh, it looks like, yeah, um, inside there it's a capsule that's got cotton cotton wool balls with uh, Vaseline on it. To snip the end off of a normal plastic straw, you can seal it afterwards, stuff it in with some a toothpick and reseal it, melt and crimp it with some pliers and you have a waterproof uh, container for some small um, tinder which is very very helpful for fire starting. Yeah, so I won't demonstrate it now with one hand, but this is one of these fold-out cups. Quite useful if you want to drink. Ah, here are the other batteries that I dropped. So another set of batteries for one of my other torches. I think for this thing up here, actually, if I remember. <coughs> Down here, fire lighting gear. So, yeah, these are all classic, cheap and handy. Very useful for getting to awkward, awkward places to light. I always put the lock on it when I put it in here, so I don't accidentally set fire to anything <coughs> or accidentally activate it this was the um, recent uh, sparker look at that spark on there that I renovated I found this in a flea market and it creates a brilliant spark so I might even use it to start my alcohol burner today give it a go classic vintage piece of um, Austrian uh, domestic uh, kitchenware awesome um, ah got that in a flea market last week for two euros um, it's full of bio bioethanol and fantastically because it's two and a half ounces it's the exact quantity well 2.4 ounces to fill up my s-bit um, cooker that I've just bought so I bought an s-bit pocket stove I'll just show you here and I'll be trialing that out today and I won't be making a video because I'm you can see I've got a nut and bolt on there I'll talk about that in, in the video when I come to properly test that but I'm going to be priming that today and just seeing how long it burns for etc so that goes in there what else ah i was given this by an austrian army officer after i taught because uh, i'm an english trainer here in vienna um he gave this as a gift it's an awesome fire steel and it creates really big sparks off it nice little uh compass in the bottom oops not focusing will it focus no um very strong very heavy just it's all screwed in there and again i might use that when i fire light one of my alcohol stoves later I just throw a spark on that 
So very nice. Thank you very much to him. Uh, afterwards, what else? And just usual cooking utensils down here. So I've got, um, I bought this the other day, bamboo handled uh, silicon spatula. Um, I cut the handle a bit shorter to fit it in the thing. Very good for pots and trying not to damage too much of your cooking gear. And it's quite heat resistant. Love that. I'll be trying that later. Um, Austrian Army Bundeswehr um, cutlery. Cutlery set. It's quite heavy. It's not the sort of thing you would take camping or hiking maybe because it's too heavy. But, you know, sometimes it's quite nice to use metal cutlery. Or Bischteck, as it's called here in uh, Austria, in German. Um, what else have I got? Um, again, pick these up. Oh, just usual sort of lightweight plastic stirrers and things. And the reason I got that spatula is because I was when I was making fried eggs last week on the propane cooker, I kind of melted the end of that. A bit rubbish. So hence the uh, spatula with a silicon heat resistant sort of bit at the end. Um, usual light by fire. I think it's light by fire. No, gillet. Um, spork. I'm not a massive fan of sporks. I don't like, yeah, I just don't like it, but I use it. Um, my partner has a titanium one, but honestly, I'd rather just use that Austrian Bundesheer stuff. A very small uh, pair of tongs, a bit over the top. But again, I, this is just for me cooking here on the land. Um, it's not something I would take hiking, obviously. Um, but that's everything contained in this awesome little bag. Oh, I think there's another lighter down there. You can never have enough lighters. Um, so I hope you like to see that. That was this British military NBC... Uh, nuclear biological biological chemical um, hold all have a sack to hold their respirator you can see it has this handy dandy bit of string fixing down the bottom here for when you tight wrap it around your waist if you are uh, you're running and on the move you don't want it bouncing around anywhere um, yeah you can actually fit quite a lot of stuff in there as you can see so I hope you enjoyed seeing that today I got to get on and make some testing videos now so yeah I hope you enjoyed that cheerio bye